Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, this is sort of a video all about resolutions. You know, it's January, something we all kind of think about, what we're planning on doing, what our goals are for the coming year, and kind of reflecting back on those goals that we made the year before. Uh, so that's kind of what I'll be doing here. I'm filming this from my iPad, so I apologize if it's a little shaky because I'm just holding it here and it is a bit heavy. Um, I've got some notes here kind of to go about, uh, you know, what I had set from the year before and uh, I've got a whole slew of books here. You can see down below there that I'll be referring to. Um, this is kind of a crazy day. It's uh, just to give you an idea of what we'll be dealing with here. We're in the middle of a bit of a snowstorm. <laughs> And it has just been non-stop snowing since last night. Um, had about six to eight inches, I think. Last night, we might get about the same today. So, be a lot of um, shoveling. Not a lot of reading, I think. But, uh, anyway, let's get on to the resolution. So, last year, I had done two videos. One was a resolution video, and another one was a video all about books that I needed to read in 2013. Books that I've been sitting on, basically, and I wanted to get to. Um, so in that video I had mentioned 16 books and out of those 16 books I only read uh, five. So anything that I could pick off that list I think is a success but in terms of the overall quantity probably not a success. Um, I did manage to read The Woman Who Died a Lot in Jasper Ford's books. That's one of the uh, latest ones that had come out. Uh, I had read The Kill Order which was the last book in the, um, well, sort of the prequel in the Maze series, so that completed that series. Uh, I read, um, where's my notes? Fear, which was something I wanted to read, and I actually also read Light, so I completed that series, which was another one of my goals in my other video, was to complete some series. I wanted to read The Girl of Nightmares, which was an also a uh, series completion for me, because that was a duology. And, uh... I wanted to read The Night Circus. I read that one. And I think that's all from this list. Oh, and Beautiful Creatures. So I did read Beautiful Creatures, and I actually read the second book, and I'm in the middle of the third book right now. So I think I did pretty good in terms of those titles. Uh, in my resolution video, I had talked about series that I wanted to complete, which one of them was the Gone series, The Kill Order. I wanted to read The Power of Six, and hopefully The Rise of Nine. I didn't get to that one. Uh, I did want to read The Girl of Nightmares, which I did, so I completed that. Um couple other series I just didn't get to. One of them was this one here, uh, Shadows. Just about see that. That's book two in the Ashes series by Ilsa J. Bick. Uh, I wanted to read uh, Necromancing the Stone, which is the second book in this series by Lish McBride. And I also wanted to read Scorch, which comes after Croak by uh, Gina D'Amico. Didn't get to that. Um, so kind of a miss with, with those books. Uh, I also had some classics I wanted to get to, the main ones being Jane Eyre and Wuthering Heights. Totally failed on both of those, which I'm really kind of annoyed with myself at. I don't think I read all that many classics. I've, I can't remember the rest of them on my list, but in terms of the physical books that I have with me, I did read Henry James' The Turn of the Screw. That was okay. And a great one. I really enjoyed kind of modern day classic, Shirley Jackson's We Have Always Lived in the Castle. thought that was excellent. Um, I would like to, well, I'll go over what my future resolutions are in a moment. Um, one of my other resolutions was, um, to read some of my review copies. Uh, on this shelf here, uh, which was quite small at the time I made this video, uh, the, the original video, had a lot of review copies on it, and I, I just really needed to get to those. Uh, they've already been released. They weren't sent to me personally. They were just sent to where I work at Barnes & Noble. For the employees to read and I just been sitting on them and it made me really frustrated. Out of the books that were there at the time I did manage to read two. One of them was Maggie Steve Otter's The Raven Boys. Um, I'd read the, Wolf of Mercy's, the Wolves of Mercy Falls series and I wasn't too thrilled with it uh, but this one I really enjoyed and I'm looking forward to reading book two. And then this beast here, The Diviners by Libba Bray. That was also on my review shelf here and I got to that one. I really did enjoy it although I'm not a big fan of the time the 20s, uh, but I love the storyline and the characters. It was really good. Let's see. What else did we have? Oh, I also wanted to uh, increase my Goodreads goal. The year before I had um, 50 books and I wanted to increase it to 80 for 2013, which I did, and I managed to exceed that goal by, um, by reaching 141 books. So I was quite pleased with that. 
I had mentioned I wanted to read some of the ebooks I have accumulated um, between my Nook and my Kindle, and uh, let's say I didn't. I read some books on there, but not ones that I had already had sitting on there. They're ones that I had since gotten in 2013. So although I did read some ebooks, they weren't the ones that I had already owned. I kind of went out and got more of them. So kind of a miss on that. And for my channel overall, I wanted to host some giveaways, which I think I hosted about three of them. One was my one year anniversary slash 1,000 subs uh, subscribers, and then I wanted to do I did a Jasper Ford giveaway, and recently I did the 2,000 subscribers giveaway. So uh, I do definitely want to continue with that and host more giveaways in the coming years. So those are our resolutions for last year. In terms of moving forward, there are some books I still want to read, and I'm going to kind of give them priority. The number one book that must be read in 2014 is going to be Jurassic Park by Michael Crichton. Uh, again, I love the movie. I keep talking about this all the time, and then I have, I have it on my, I think on my Kindle. I have this little mass market kind of beat up copy. I got the library for a quarter, and I've got the really nice um, Barnes & Noble Classic Edition. Okay, now I own it. Let's read it. Let's read this finally. Uh, I've been wanting to read The End of Mr. Y since forever. I've had this sitting on my shelf. I've had a lot of my fellow booktubers talk about this and how much they loved it. And I don't know why it's still sitting there. I have another one of her books, two of her other books. I haven't read those either. So this is getting ridiculous. And with the movie release recently, I need to get to this one, The Book Thief by Marcus Suzak. I want to see the movie, but again, I don't like to see movies before I've read the book. So I have to get to this one. Top priorities here, people. <laughs> and this beast here, which recently came out, and it's just such a intriguing book with all the inserts and things that are inside, and that is S, and that is by J.J. Abrams and Doug Dorst. Uh, I did a, a special video on this one. You could check it out, but it is such a unique book, and I really can't wait to delve into it. And also, I still want to continue with reading more classics, and I will, I will, I will... Well, I got to read Jane Eyre this year by Charlotte Bronte. This love this edition of it. It's just so cool looking. Um, but it's, it's time I read this one. And I thought maybe I throw in a couple smaller classics. Um, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, Robert Louis Stevenson. I found this really nice edition. And so I got like a little horror classic in there. Also a modern day classic, The Haunting of Hill House by Shirley Jackson. Really short ones. I should be able to fit these in sometime this year. And uh, between being snowed in, <laughs> when I'm not out there shoveling, so I will leave you with this lovely view of a whiteout, which I have to go and clear. Oh, look, a snowplow. Can you see that? Is he going to come this way, please? Yay. Finally. Wow, that is a lot of snow. Come and do our driveway, please. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, that's it for now, guys. For someplace warm, enjoy it. Wish I could. See you later. Bye.